Uh, I would love to stay in chats, but, um... <gasps> oh, I must dash! Guys, welcome back! Okay, guys, welcome back to Fortnite. Yo, we've got a crazy video in this crazy update, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. Well, we knew raptors were coming to the game, but uh, man, this is crazy. In today's video, we are looking at huge map changes, preparing us for season six's incoming battle. Secret location changes that once you see them will blow your mind, and a pretty major Easter egg that has now got players talking. I mean, literally, we just had the spring breakout update. Everything to do with spring, everything to do with Easter. And we're going to be exploring it all. Uh, well, maybe not at all, but uh, at least we're not getting killed by raptors anymore. Hello there. Ah! <laughs> Guys, leave me alone. I'm trying to do a video here, for goodness sake. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can use the support to create a code that is on screen right now. Hey, yo, I think we just need to get into this crazy video. Okay, we've arrived at our first pretty major map change of this latest update. And as you can see, Pleasant Park is, uh, it's changing. Here at the northwest side of Pleasant Park, somebody has set up some kind of barricade, literally on the road entering Pleasant Park. You may wonder why a barricade is being set up here, but it would seem it's to defend against the outside world. And as we now know, yo, there's raptors in the game. This barricade right here may not seem that interesting, but it is to do with this season's storyline. And more importantly, think about this for a second. Oh, yikes, hold on. We're about to see how well this barricade really works. No, 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 no! Okay, great. I want you guys to think about this. Think about this. This is the first map change that has something to do with the storyline in Fortnite for almost like three seasons. Like literally three seasons. Let me explain. I mean, think about it. In season five, the only map change we had, the only major map change we had was the cantina. You know, the Star Wars cantina that had nothing to do with the storyline. Before that, in season four, we had a bunch of storyline related changes, but they were all to do with Marvel. And all of those changes were like, you know, Iron Man's base that never actually returned. That was season four. Now in season three, we had the water theme, right? And all the water went down and revealed Aquaman's base, which is still in the game and is kind of part of the storyline. But like, I'm not sure Coral Cove has played a part in the storyline at all ever in Fortnite. Hey, yo, I don't mean to be rude, but this location is trash, dog. This location is garbage. This barrier here is the first change that Epic Games has actually made to the game that has something to do with the storyline, that has nothing to do with the collaboration, and has everything to do with this season. Old furniture, benches, card tires, it's all here. They're literally scrapping together anything that they can find to defend against the incoming raptors. And it's not only just the front line, even some buildings at Pleasant Park have been boarded up. They know something is coming and they have to protect themselves. Yo, even the gas station right here has been boarded up, dude. Look at it. Yo, definitely something is coming to Fortnite and everyone's terrified. Uh, speaking of the terrified. Oh, what we got going on over there, huh? Come on, homies fighting. Hey, can I play? Ooh, just super quick. Hey, you guys notice that a brand new video just came up live on the seconds channel? Hey, that's right. We got a second channel now. We're playing a bunch of crazy games. Yo, and people love it. If you guys want to be one of the first, check the description and go check out the video. Literally a brand new video that is released at the same time as this one. Yo, it's totally worth checking it out. Guys, check the description. One, we'll take it. Oh, what? What are these players, dude? What in Jonesy's name just happened, bro? I landed the sickest shot with my arrow, which by the way was an explosive arrow, but it didn't actually explode, just saying. And then this guy right here. Dumb. It's dumb. Oh, hey, but you know what isn't dumb? Ah, this brand new location. Batman. Oh, we've arrived at the back entrance of the grotto and it looks like some changes will be happening at this location. The grotto is locked. As you can see, it's been locked for many seasons. But now it would seem that, uh, wait a minute. 
On the Batman logo there just a second ago. Yo, we've been fooled again, bro. Come on, what? Batman? And there has been much talk online about the Grotto actually being updated this season. And players have been speculating because we know Batman's coming to the game. So where's the Bats Cave? Batman has a Bats Cave. And the Grotto is the only cave on our map right now that has nothing going on. Hey, there's been some pretty cool concepts of this being the Bats Cave. You know, with the massive Batman logo right on the top. Hey, yo, I think we may have figured out Epic Games' plan. And to introduce Batman into our game. Yo, Epic, you think you're sly? You ain't sly. Hey, but don't worry, there is actually something to do with Batman in our game in the latest updates. Players online only now are noticing that if you actually look at Agent Jonesy, you know, the scruffy Agent Jonesy that had gone round through multiple dimensions, finding different characters to bring to our world. Well, it turns out that actually one of the items he's wearing is actually Batman's belt. Oh my goodness. If you look at this image, right here, you can clearly see that Agent Jonesy is actually wearing Batman's belt. This is the same belt that is being found in all the comic books to do with the collaboration of Fortnite and the Batman universe. Oh, sorry to interrupt. There's a guy here. That's my shotgun there, bro. Hey, you don't need two shotguns. Oh, dude, he took the ammo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro. Yo, my guy had no time to respond. Yo, my guy was spaced out or DC'd or something. Nice try, player. And literally, they're the identical same belt. So what must this mean? Well, it's pretty obvious. The reason why Agent Jonesy has all of these cool new items like the red bandana and the gauntlet on his arm. These are all to do with the collaboration characters that Agent Jonesy found last season. The Walking Dead character, the Street Fighter character. And now this belt right here confirms that on his journey, he must have found Batman. Of course, we've talked in great detail about the comic books to do with Batman and Fortnite, so we know Batman is definitely coming to our game this season. The question is when? Why? What's he gonna do? Hopefully not too much to do with the storyline. Please, Epic. Please, 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 please. A season with the collaborations not being the main part? Please. Hey, either way, it doesn't really matter because Agent Jonesy has given us the first Easter egg this season that Batman is officially on our island. Okay, the sun is setting. Nighttime is coming and uh, we're gonna need it. We're gonna use the undercover of night to get into the center of our islands and show off this last mind-blowing Easter egg. Here we go to the spire. Okay, follow me guys. We're sneaking our way into the spire. This is the only way that I know and uh, ooh, hold on. It's right there. Literally at the spire location right now inside the giant rocks. We're now starting to see purple shards making an appearance. And as you can see, yo, they're glowing. Of course, players will actually recognize these purple shards. We had many of these last season in Fortnite, you know, of season five, jutting out to the ground in the sandy deserts. In fact, all over this giant rock spiral, we're finding loads of these purple shards growing through the cracks, appearing back in our game. It would seem whatever these purple shards are, they have something to do with the zero point. Even though the zero point is locked away at the top of the spire, enclosed in a giant metal ball, it seems like its energy is crystal crystallizing and breaking through the spire for us all to see. Yo, is this a material though? Can I do something with this? No? Okay, great. Uh, maybe not with the pickaxe, but what about a gun? <laughs> no? Okay, okay. I think I'm out of ideas. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. I'm out of ideas. Officially. But it seems like we're all kind of out of ideas when it comes to what is happening in game. What is going on with these crystals that are growing through the cracks? Is this Epic Games' way of saying that the zero point is still activated? And maybe the whole spire soon is going to be covered in these purple crystals. Are we going to be getting a giant crystallized purple tower this season? As the zero point activates and breaks through into our reality. It doesn't seem like there's any more this far up. Up, so it seems like it's only in the ground, maybe? Uh, I don't know. There's much to uncover. There's much to learn. And we got plenty of time to figure it out. Season 6 has only just started, and it looks like this could be a pretty crazy season. If you guys want to support the channel, you can use the supporter creator code on screen right now. Apart from that, yo, I think it's time we end this game with a bang. <laughs> oh, sorry, my guy. It's the end of the video. Me you go. Hey, listen, I don't need to hear it in the comments section. I know, I know. Well, Max, if you weren't standing still talking trash to him, maybe you wouldn't have been taken out so quickly. Maybe you would have got a victory royale. Okay, I know. Thanks. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna catch you all on the next season six for tonight's video. Thanks, guys. Peace.
don't know, bro. It's kind of like a plant. What do you reckon that is? It looks like an eye, bro. Is this thing got like two big eyes? Look at this. Um, I don't know. <laughs> nope. Uh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yo, you reckon we can do anything with it? Maybe like, uh, maybe we open the door a little bit more and just, you know, no, see if it no, comes no, out. No, no, don't do that. No. Yeah, you remember what happened last time? You touch it. Touch it. Go see if you can interact with it. I'm not touching it. Go see if you can interact with it, bro. It didn't work for me. Uh, uh. 